Well, and I have argued that when you invade a sovereign nation, that is a war crime. <laughs> I mean, I think we're at, at, at just a real basic, basic point there. Well, um, I agree. It is certainly against every principle of international law and international order. And that's why throwing the book at them now in terms of economic sanctions mm -hmm. and punishments is also a part of it. And I think the world is there. Uh, certainly NATO is there. He's, he's managed to unite NATO in ways that I didn't think I would ever see again after the end of the Cold War. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. When you invade a sovereign nation, that is a war crime. <laughs> I mean, I think we're at, at, at just a real basic, basic point there. So that was Condoleezza Rice, the architect of Iraq WMDs and the invasion of Iraq talking about war crimes. Such an upside down world. Such an upside down world. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's stunning to hear all these, uh, all these people who, who orchestrated all these invasions now coming out and uh, talking about uh, what's going on in Ukraine. Anyway, I'll leave that video at that and you guys can, uh, can comment down below what you think about that interview between Fox News and Condoleezza Rice. It's really funny to see that, you know, this, this uh, news story that's going on with Ukraine, everything that's happening with Ukraine, this conflict, it, uh, it doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, Rhino, mainstream media, I'm talking about the U.S., the West, the collective West, mainstream media, independent YouTube, um, wherever you are on the spectrum, on the on the political spectrum, wherever you lie, whatever kind of content creator you are, whether you're big business, big corporate media, or just an independent YouTube creator. I mean, everyone is, everyone is united on this in the West. <laughs> you know, they're united on this. And that's fine. I'm, I'm not saying anything, but they're all united. You know, even jabbed, unjabbed, uh, people that were against the, uh, the, the tyranny that Trudeau was uh, inflicting, uh, inflicting on the Freedom Convoy and everyone that was uh, sounding off against Trudeau and everyone that's against Soros or Klaus Schwab or all these people, they're all united now. Uh, Klaus Schwab came out and he also condemned what uh, Russia's doing and he's saying that uh, he's against Putin and he's with Ukraine, um, which is fine. The Klaus Schwab is also welcome to <laughs> his opinion. George Soros obviously has, uh, has sounded off on all of this stuff. After, you know, George Soros was one of the main architects of the, uh, of the Maidan anyway, so that's no surprise. Uh, Van der Leyen, uh, you know, Macron, Biden, uh, Ted Cruz, uh, Mitch McConnell, Pelosi, uh, independent YouTubers, conservatives, uh, progressives, uh, everyone is united on this. I just find it interesting to, to, to see, you know, uh, uh, people that were, people that are, you know, like uh, libertarians or, or for freedom and sounding off against Trudeau are now on the same side with Trudeau or with Klaus Schwab. <laughs> it's, you know, you, you know something's really, really wrong in the narrative when the mainstream media, Hillary Clinton, Mitt Romney, Klaus Schwab, George Soros are all on the same side and they're all pushing a lot of... Uh, a lot of the narrative forward. You know something's wrong there. Maybe you should rethink every, every everything. There are a couple of people that have been uh, covering this really, really well. Uh, Steve Turley, Dr. Steve Turley is doing a great job. Uh, Jimmy Dore is doing a great job. Um, I was actually watching uh, Officer Tatum. who he, he doesn't weigh in on, on like geopolitics, but he did a great job in covering this. And Officer Tatum has a really big channel. And he's based in Arizona, and I used to live in Arizona, so I follow him. And he's a really good YouTuber, really, really good. And, um, you know, he, he opened up a show that he did the other day, a live stream, and he was just, like, saying, you know what? Something doesn't feel right because the mainstream media is, is just uh, shitting on, on Russia and Putin and all these things. And he's like, when I see the mainstream media, you know, in absolute overdrive talking about this stuff... He's like, it reminds me of how they were in overdrive with, with Trump, in overdrive with hysteria for Russia Gate and Ukraine Gate. And he's like, you know, red flags start to go up when I see all of these people in the mainstream media united um, against, say, you know, the, you know, all on the one side of, um, 
of Ukraine and against Russia on this. And uh, he did a really good stream and talked about it. Anyway, uh, what do I want to say here? Just a quick update. The, uh, the talks are taking place now. They're underway between Russia, Ukraine, and Minsk, in, uh, in Belarus. Not in Minsk, in Belarus. Uh, you have countries like the UK and Denmark, and they're actually telling their citizens to go fight in Ukraine, which is just so irresponsible and reckless. It's just so dumb what they're doing. Really, really dumb to like tell people that they can travel to Ukraine and fight. It's absolutely silly. The, the UK, let's trust, is a, we say Zelensky's a clown. Let's trust is a clown. I was going to cross that red light and I decided not to. Yeah. I mean, this trust is just a real clown. Denmark, too, is saying, yeah, go to Ukraine and fight everybody. That's how you know that these guys, uh, the people that lead us, really care about us, right? Yeah, go to Ukraine and just be uh, cannon fodder. You know, just go to the, the Ukraine meat grinder, our citizens. That's what our leaders are telling our citizens to do. Incredible. Uh, another bit of news is that uh, this is actually quite interesting, important, interesting, is that they are letting the, uh, the Russian military is creating a safe passage around Kiev. So that tells me two things. They're going to let citizens leave through one road and they're telling Ukraine citizens to, to leave the city and they've opened up a road, a safe passage. And that tells me a couple of things. One, without a doubt now, we know that Kiev is surrounded. The previous video I did, I said that Klitschko kind of let it out. The mayor of Kiev let it slip that uh, the city is surrounded. So the fact that Russia is opening one road means that they've pretty much got it surrounded and they're opening a safe passage for citizens. And the other thing that this tells me, and I don't know, guys, tell me, tell me down below what you, you, you think of this. The fact that they're opening up a safe passage and they're telling Ukraine citizens to, to leave the city probably means that they're about to go in. They're about to go in and uh, and take Kiev. That's what that's what it seems to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but the fact that they're telling the citizens to to leave the city and they're creating a safe passage means that uh, you know we're going to get some urban urban warfare. I imagine. I, I don't know. Let me know down below if there's uh, military experts that uh, that can assess that move. Please uh, please comment. And I think I will leave it there. I'll leave the video there and we'll see if we do another update or we do a live stream today. The Durant.locals.com. Take care.